Hey kids, welcome back for another lesson. We're on lesson two of the Fast Car Kingdom Cup, learning the law and racing to grace. If you are a Faith Fellowship kid and you're watching, you can earn five points for watching this video. Keep track of your points and when we get back to our children's church room, you can bring those score sheets with you and use the points in the Candy Queen's candy shop. All right, so we're just about to get started, but um, I forgot something in my room, Micah. I'm going to go get something out of my room. I forgot. I just untangled these. I want to add a few more for the decoration. Please don't touch them, all right? No matter what you do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Be right back. One touch won't hurt. Oh. Micah? to go and where's my flags <sighs> okay well I guess we're not gonna have the flags right away um oh I have an idea since I don't know where Micah is let's play a game of where's Micah I am going to hide a picture of Micah this picture right here I'll hide it somewhere on the set and you guys can try and find it. We'll play five rounds. See how many times you can find Micah. And of course, if the real Micah comes in, that will be points too. find Micah. If you were playing on a phone, it was probably almost impossible. If you were watching on a computer, not too bad. And if you were watching on a TV, that was probably super easy level. Has anyone seen the real Micah? Because I haven't seen it. Micah, are you here? Please come out if you're here. Mom, oh, hey, Micah. I messed up and touched the thing. And when I heard you coming, I ran away. You got scared because you did the wrong thing? Yeah. You know, I'm always going to love you and forgive you. And what you're going through reminds me of the Bible story. If you want to listen while I tell it to the kids. All right, kids, I'm going to be reading from Genesis 3, 1 through 10. Now the snake was the most clever of all the wild animals the Lord had made. One day, the snake said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from the tr fruit from the tree in the garden? The woman answered to the snake, We may eat from the fruit from the trees of the garden. But God told us, you must not eat from the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden or you will die. The snake said to the woman, you will not die. 
God knows that if you eat from the tree of good and evil, you will know what good and evil is, and then you will be like God. The woman saw that the tree was beautiful and the fruit was good to eat. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. She gave some of the fruit to her husband when he was with her, and he ate it too. Then it was as if their eyes were open. They realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made something to cover themselves. Then they heard the Lord walking in the garden during the cool part of the day. The man and his wife hid from the Lord. <clears throat> they hid it in the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said, Where are you, Adam? The man answered, I heard you walking in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid. Micah, you saw me coming, and you hid because you did the wrong thing, and that's what Adam and Eve did too. Last week, we learned about God's law and how he'll always love us and always forgive us even when we do the wrong thing. And I will always love you and always forgive you even if you do the wrong thing. But do we want to sin carelessly just because God will forgive us? And that is what our lesson will be about today. So, Micah, maybe you and I can go clean this up and figure it out, all right? All right. High five. <laughs> Bye.